This is one of my favourite local spots. It's called West Wittering and it's just such a lovely beach. I love these sand dunes. These sand dunes always remind me of uh, the Outer Hebrides on the Isle of Harris. You've got these kind of sand dunes on um, various parts of the beaches there and in kind of scattered across the, the Hebrides you get these beautiful white sandy beaches with the sand dunes and the turquoise waters and this little bit just gives me that kind of memory. I really love the view back this way because this section is called East Head and you can walk right around these sand dunes in a circle. But the view back that way towards the South Downs, I always think it looks like, looks like a painting. And uh, I love to look and stand and take photos in that direction because the light often comes across. And it's always a really good thing when you're taking photographs to have the light coming across your photo because it will add a bit of contrast or also add some depth to your image because the sun will create these lovely shadows across the frame. And it's mixed with that light at the moment and it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. This kind of place is a real inspiration for me. You know, when I obviously do a lot of traveling around um, Britain and further afield for landscape photography and whenever I come back, it's places like this that help to inspire me locally, you know, to keep, keep shooting locally. Kind of mysterious, shaded with someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit. It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull. When I lose my inspiration for photography, there's an easy trap which you can get into, which is to think you need more gear, you know, and I'm guilty of that. You kind of get to a point where you think, oh, I just, you know, I just can't feel inspired anymore to capture images. And so you start thinking, right, in that case, I need a new camera, I need a new lens, I need something new, a new bag. And in one sense, that does do something short term it will give you that kind of excitement which will last you for a short amount of time where you feel inspired again to, to get out. But what you're really inspired by then is the gear. You're not inspired by the craft. And you have to watch that you don't just become inspired by technology rather than being inspired by the photography itself. Who's gonna save you? So for me, when I am looking to get over a period of kind of that lack of inspiration and over a period where I just don't feel like I can really connect with photography, I have to go back to the beginning and go back to the reason why I started to capture images. What was that a kind of thing that ignited me? in the first place. And for me, that's to do with the landscape. You know, I feel most at home when I am in a, a wild or remote place, when I feel I'm somewhere that's far from people. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like in the landscape where I feel like it's just me and nature. You know, that's the time that I really feel alive and I begin to feel myself just coming out of my shell. And I just feel like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. And, you know, I heard a great quote the other, the other day, um, I'll probably get it completely wrong, but the essence of it was, was that not everyone um, lives where they feel at home, but actually you have to find your spiritual home, as it were, um, yourself. And actually, you know, for me, places like the Outer Hebrides or, you know, um, Lindisfarne, you know, places where you can feel really away from everything and it's just you and nature that's where I feel at home and for me to get the passion back for photography I have to return somewhere like that 
And then what happens is, is that something comes alive inside of me where it feeds this creativity inside. And I feel like I'm absorbing the nature. I'm absorbing something, some energy from, you know, creation. And then that somehow reignites a passion inside of me. And then I want to capture that. I want to take photographs of it. I want to film it. You know, I want to um, find a way of, of uh, expressing it so that I can show other people. And so, you know, if you are in a place where you have kind of been losing your, your joy of photography, don't just turn to gear. <laughs> don't just turn to spending loads of money on new gear. Actually start to think, you know, what are my passions? Why did I get into this in the first place? What do I love to record? What makes me really excited when I have photographed it? You know, what is it that I take pictures of and then I want to show someone? You know, what are those things? And I think if you start to go back to that, you'll find a, a joy again will come back into your life to capture images again. And so I come back to, you know, when I'm, I'm home, I come back to places like this, which is just, you know, just a few minutes from my house. And I'm, not, you know, I'm really lucky to live somewhere like this because I can just allow it to reconnect me again um, to my love of nature. And then from that, hopefully, good photos will follow. I really hope that this short film has just helped to reignite your passion again for photography. And I think the key thing here is not to think about the craft of photography, but actually think about the subject matter that you are photographing. Let that be the thing that drives your passion. Because I think if you are passionate for that, then you're going to want to photograph it. You're going to want to capture it. And I think that's the key is to focus on enjoying that subject and then that will then help to um, bring your passion back. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. I ran into you Do you need a